Hey, what's going on, guys? DC Reviews here, and today I'm here to talk about some new Halo Infinite collectibles that I've just been revealed, some even revealed today, and about some old ones that I have missed over the past couple of weeks and months due to just being very busy and not making any videos. So, a lot of good stuff has been coming out, and I can't wait to talk to it with you guys. So, without further ado, let's jump right in to the first picture which is about the Jazzwares 7 inch line or 6 inch line of Halo figures the Spartan collection the 20th anniversary 2 pack with Halo Infinite Master Chief and the Halo Combat Evolved Master Chief as some of you may know this is the 20 year anniversary of Halo and Xbox so this is really cool it's exclusive to GameStop and I think it's about 40 to 50 bucks and I think you can pre-order it right now on their website Next up is the Series 3 of the World of Halo figures from Jazzwares as well. This was revealed, I think, last month, but I never got around to looking at it till now. And we got another Master Chief, an EVA, which looks really nice, a nice looking blue Elite, which is great. I'm glad we're getting a base Elite. A cool Brute, I think, I don't remember what Brute guy that is, but I think he's part of the hands of Atriox. A nice looking banished jackal looks really cool and then I don't know what the Spartan armor is to the very left but that is my favorite figure of the this wave it looks super nice that's a very nice blue like a turquoise or a teal and then the orange on the helmet looks really nice all in all this is a great wave I'm not gonna get the Master Chief as I already have two Master Chiefs but the rest of the figures is a definite pickup hopefully you can find them because I haven't even been able to find wave two but there's wave three. Should be ten bucks each. And then just revealed today, as a matter of fact, is the World of Halo Mantis with Spartan EVA. And this looks amazing. I have the Warthog and the Ghost, and they are awesome vehicles, but this looks awesome. If it's anything like the Warthog, I expect it to be about thirty dollars. Since the figure is ten, the vehicle might be twenty, since it's a bigger vehicle, but it looks awesome. Looks like they did a great job and I guess this confirms that the Mantis is going to be in Halo Infinite, as this line of Halo figures is only, I believe, from Halo Infinite, and I think they're going to delve into other games after Halo Infinite, maybe, releases, but looks really awesome. Can't wait to see what other vehicles they make in the future. And now next up is something that I miss. It's just a little teaser of three new sets, so let's take a quick look at them. The top left one is looks like a Dungoose set with a Brute, actually let me look, get a little closer look myself, a Brute, a Jackal Sniper, another Brute, and an ODST type Marine like we had in that first Heroes line. And then we also have a Needler, which looks really nice, the buildable Needler. And then we even have a another helmet of some more game modes which I really like the helmets they released a red one I have found at Walmart I haven't bought it but they also released a new one there and then we're getting another one which looks like a gray helmet and it looks pretty cool so three new sets coming out most likely fall of this year so gonna look out for that and now the big set that was revealed was the Razorback set the Razorback is a new vehicle in Halo Infinite that was revealed during the multiplayer reveal uh, last month or it might have been the beginning of this month I can't remember and it looks great really like it I love the gray uh, vehicle it's so much this it's way different than the Warthog it looks really nice in the set we get a brute a marine a grunt uh, I don't remember what kind of grunt he's called, but he holds the weapons, which we have seen this type of grunt in the new mystery bag, uh, wave three of the Halo Infinite mystery bags. And as you see right there, we get a Spartan Kelly, which is awesome, which maybe proves that Kelly is going to be in Halo Infinite, which would be really cool. I don't see why she wouldn't be in Halo Infinite. And uh, yeah, there's all four figures right there. It looks great. Definitely worthy, definitely worth to get the Kelly figure, another Marine, that Grunt, and the Warthog. Uh, the Brutes are okay. I still have a problem with their faces looking really plain. 
but there's the rebuild you can make like a little station so if you get two you can have a Razorback and a little station and you give the brute a little like mech suit which looks kind of cool so there's the Razorback set I expect it to be 30 bucks just like the Warthog so there we are folks that is all the Halo Infinite goodness that I have missed and stuff that has come out I think there might be a couple other sets that I missed or I just haven't talked about and I thought I talked about in other videos and if that's the case, well, maybe I'll take a look at them next time we get a bunch of new information on some new collectibles. If you guys did enjoy this video, let me know by hitting that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new for more Halo Infinite videos just like this one. And, I mean, I love Halo, so that's what this channel is. And tell me in the comment section what your favorite reveal here is. Do you like one of the figures in this Series 3 of the World of Halo figures more than the set? Or are you really excited for the Razorback? Or is there a set and that little teaser image that was really blurry? You know, like the Gungoose or the Needler or that helmet. Personally for me, I'm mostly excited for the Mantis. I have really loving the World of Halo 4 inch Halo line from Jazzwares. The details are fantastic. They move better than the 7 inch figures, and the vehicles are awesome. And they're so cheap 10 bucks a figure, 20 bucks for a mongoose or a ghost. Can't beat that. So, anyways, guys, that's it for me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye.